Hey everybody, Desert Guardian here, and today I have a pretty big box from CZ. So, hey, let's take a look and see what's inside the box. All right, I'll try to keep everything on camera the best I can with this one, but it is a sizable box. We always like big boxes because it always means big things. So, inside we've got some Ted shooting range paperwork. We've got some papers, we've got a target, some books. And underneath here, we have the CZ Scorpion. This is the Evo 3 S1 pistol. So this is actually a nine millimeter pistol. Um, so let's do this. Let's pull out a mag. Let's see what else we've got in here. That's stuck. So we've got the, uh, the, the cleaning rope. Um, so that's nice to have. We've got a lock. We've got the pistol itself. Let's go ahead and set that aside here. So we can get the box out of the way. All right. I only have so much room. It looks like I'm gonna run out of room fast with this setup. All right, so we'll set the box aside. And here we have the CZ Scorpion Evo 3 S1 pistol in OD green. So, um, awesome little compact pistol, awesome color. Uh, you've probably seen these in a rifle configuration, uh, but this one has a, a seven and three quarter inch barrel and obviously no stock on it. So uh, this one is a purely pistol setup. Now you can put an arm brace on it. You can actually put an adapter on it too to do a, like an AR style recoil tube uh, for, a, for a shoulder stock. But I must add this, if you add a shoulder stock to this, uh, it has to be registered with the ATF as a short barreled rifle. Uh, so an arm brace, yes. A shoulder uh, uh, stock, no, unless you're registering it as a short barreled rifle. So, all right, well, let's take a look. So here it is. So this is the Evo 3 S1. It is a nine millimeter. Um, you got your ejection port right here, mag goes in here. That is a fantastic looking fun time. So one neat thing about this is this nine millimeter. There's a lot of guys out there that run uh, 300 blackout or uh, even a, a 223-556 AR pistol. Um, and without that recoil buffer in an AR platform, it is a, a sharp kick. Uh, it is definitely something that, that wears thin on your, your hand after a while. Um, whereas this guy being a nine millimeter, I mean, you're basically shooting a real heavy version of a, of a Glock, you know, it's mostly polymer. Uh, it's got a lot of weight. It's not going to have much muzzle flip. It does have a, a removable, um, uh, thread protector on it, so to speak, or flash hider. Um, you can put a standard thread protector on here too. So, uh, or a, uh, uh, a suppressor if you'd like to. So it does come with Picatinny rails all over the place. Uh, th the top one here, God, I want to say is like 11 inch Picatinny rail. So it comes with the, the four-way adjustable rear sight, the front pin sight on it. Um, they do move. You can move these anywhere. So if you wanted to put in a red dot or uh, any other sort of um, accessory on the top, you got lots of room to do it. Um, of course, you've got accessory rails on the bottom and side too. It comes with a nice little uh, little brace in the front here. Um, you know, you can't put a full uh, forward drop grip on it because then you're, you're getting into weird ATF rules again. It does have spots for uh, slings. And like I said, four different rails on it. Um, it does have ambidextrous controls all over the place. You've got your mag release here on both sides. Um, you've got your fire safe here. Uh, of course, only one side when you're racking the uh, <laughs> slide, but um, you know everything is switchable on it. So uh, yeah, super hoot, super fun to shoot these guys. Um, you know, if you like something that you're going to be spending less than a thousand bucks on, and something that you can go shoot nine millimeter all day long and just have a blast doing it, the Scorpion Evo 3 is definitely a way to go. Um, like I said, it's legally classified by the ATF as a pistol, which is where you get the seven and three quarter inch um, barrel, and uh, you know you can still put a shoulder up, an arm brace on it, so to speak. 
um, and and keep that legal uh, the the legal definition of a pistol. Um, it is nine millimeter. Magazine capacity is twenty plus one, so you can put a lot of rounds in it. Thing only weighs five pounds with an overall length of sixteen inches. So that is a a very portable uh, backpack gun. You know, you you want to take it with you when you're hiking, or you want to you know use it as a last resort weapon or whatever. It is very portable. Um, so you know, it's less than ten inches high. You know, like nine and a half inches high. Um, yeah, and that and that that five pound weight is what really makes it special for something of this size. You know, you would think it would weigh more than that, but it doesn't. Um, yeah, the, the, whole, the whole frame on it is like fiber reinforced polymer. So you've seen, I've done a lot of, a lot of work with like polymer 80 um, and even Glock and things like that. This is a super heavy duty polymer frame on this sucker. It's, it's, uh, it's resilient to everything but uh, a major attack from a pit bull. I don't know if you've ever seen that online. Somebody left his Glock out and his pit bull got a hold of it and used it as a chew toy. I don't recommend that. Don't, uh, don't let your dogs uh, eat your polymer guns. Um, it is a single action, you know, it is, uh, um, gosh, I mean, it's, it's not a ton more to tell you about it, um, but, you know, semi-automatic, single action, rattle off as many uh, 9mm rounds as you can. Um, like I said, it does have the, the half inch by 28 threads on the uh, on their little flash hider here, so you can put a standard thread protector on or a standard suppressor, um, which... I've seen these with a suppressor on it and an arm brace, and they're super compact, super quiet, just super fun. Um, and like I said, the the big, the big selling point on this is the price tag. You know, I want to say, you know, we're let's see, yeah, you're less than nine hundred bucks. Now I said less than a thousand before, but you're less than nine hundred bucks on this thing. So um, I swung by and picked this up from Ted's Shooting Range, which I'll have links to below this. Uh, and you know what? They have them in the rental fleet too. So <laughs> go buy Ted's, go rent it and shoot it a bunch of times. And chances are you're going to be leaving with the thing. Um, such a fantastic setup by CZ. Uh, I'm not even going to go into how to pronounce uh, what the, the real name is. Chechka Borjovka. You know, I mean, it's Czechoslovakian, but we just go by CZ. They make a bunch of fantastic, uh, fantastic firearms. Um, and yeah. That's about all I can say about it. It's awesome. It's fun. It's a great size, a great weight. Uh, it's nine millimeter, so you've got the most common round, uh, pistol round out there. Um, yeah, go go shoot one. Go put your hands around one. I mean, they are fun, fantastic, reliable, and uh, not going to let you down with that CZ quality. So uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them below. Um, can't wait to get this one out on the range and have some fun with it. And... Uh, you know, check out Ted's shooting range. I'll put links below. Uh, hit that subscribe button. I'm, I'm going to have new guns and uh, knives and accessories and uh, bolt-ons and all kinds of things to talk about. And if there's anything you want to see, by all means, leave it below. Um, and I'll try to get it. You know, if it's, if it's available, if it's out there, you know, I can, I can get my hands on it. I can do a hands-on review and, and, and rub my hands all over it and tell you what I think of it. Um, but this one here, the, the Scorpion... Um, I think is awesome. The CZ Scorpion Evo 3 S1 is the technicality in olive drap. So um, that's the nice long name for it. But yeah, hey, give it a try. Questions, comments, concerns, leave them below. Desert Guardian, out.